Hello and welcome back to this week's video. I know I look like garbage because I feel like garbage. I didn't sleep well and uh, having a little bit of a, a headache so you know it's a solid day but today we are actually heading off to the airport. It's like 4 10 in the afternoon we're about to leave for the airport and we are going to New York City. I believe this is episode maybe 17 of the series that I'm calling new adventures. I've never been to New York. I'm super stoked to go. This is actually going to be my first ever red-eye flight. So I guess it works out that I'm extremely tired because I'm hoping to get some sleep on the plane. Don't know if that's going to happen. I'm traveling with my friend Donna and she's a pretty cool lady. We are flying JetBlue heading to YVR. So let's go. through security and customs, which took us a little while. How's it feel to get a full pat down? It was all right. Got myself a delightful Starbucks hot chocolate. They butchered my name. Anyone interested in an airport chair candy? And then it was time to board. I think I ended up getting about two hours of sleep on this flight. This vlog is gonna be a lot of voiceover as the city is really loud and there was lots of copyright music. So if you don't like that, then we'll see you in the next video. We landed half an hour early in JFK. Here I am enjoying my first ever Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Oh my god, look at all that traffic. We headed for our first ever ride on the subway. Fun fact, this was not the train we were supposed to take and it took two hours to get to Manhattan. Finally unearthed from the underground. Oh my god. And this would be Times Square? It is. This was a pretty awesome way to emerge from the hot, smelly subway. After a much needed power nap at the hotel, we headed out to explore. Our first stop was the M&M store. The amount of flavors that were available here just blew my mind. There were so many that I want to try. This is my first time ever in a five below and it is insane. I 110% regret not buying those to try. For lunch, we tried Chick-fil-A for the first time, and I give that a solid 8 out of 10. Took a stroll by St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's so big! The steeple things go up so high! Yeah, First ever walk through Central it? Park, should we skip and hold hands? I don't think I could do that today. And no skipping and holding yeah, hands? Alright. Not today. All right. I can think about 10 different movies that have been filmed on this bridge. So many movies. So many movies. This is truly something I never thought I would get to do. And look at that skyline in the background. Like, it's just absolutely amazing. If you want to go on the lawn anytime before 9 a.m., it's a no go. If after sunset. Cannot go on the lawn. That is the Central Park rules. No lawn. The New York City rats are on another level. They are large, they are everywhere, and I found them really quite adorable. Most people find them gross, but I thought they were cute. We went to the Nintendo store. This is one of four stores worldwide. This is the only Nintendo store in all of North America, so it was a pretty cool experience to come in and have a look. We didn't end up buying anything because everything was super expensive, but it was a pretty cool experience. Bowser! On our way back to the hotel, we stopped at the Disney store and it was huge. It was two floors and they had everything. Yeah, the St. James Hotel. It's an old prehistoric war building. It's very cool. All the details. Oh, oh, God. Oh, my God. That sounds like it was going to break. All right. It's definitely not what I expected. It's a lot dirtier. I've seen a little bit of everything today. I've seen media waiting for Trump. I've seen Secret Service. I've seen a lot of rats. Uh, I've smelled a lot of things, too. Once you get over the initial smell, it's pretty cool place. Definitely a concrete jungle, but uh, it, it definitely smells funky. Iconic funky smell in New York steam. We're on the big bus. The big, big bus. The hop on hop off big bus was great as first timers to New York. 
It took us to all the places we needed to go. It wasn't the fastest way to get around, but it did also provide some very fun facts for us, like here's the New York Public Library. Apparently back in the 20s, it cost $9 million to make, so like a bajillion dollars now. And I got to see the cool stone lines. The old stone architecture was really impressive. First look, six floors from the top, and I said, wow. Empire State Building. Statue of Liberty it looks so tiny all the way over there. It's so crazy up here. Just the biggest concrete jungle. This view is relatively the same as the Empire State Building, just a little higher and a little to the right, with a couple cool glass features. If you have vertigo or are very scared of heights, now is a good time to fast forward a little bit because you're about to see the ground. I believe this is 100 stories up above the ground, so just a little bit high. It's freaky. <laughs> guy flew right into me. Kind of hurt, actually. What are you? Are those stink bugs? Maybe it's a moth. It's a New York bug. Because it has wings, right? Ripping through the city on the big, big bus. Start spreading the news. Look at the low-hanging trees. Hey, look. Over there, Radio City Music Hall, and the Law Courts, also featured on Law and Order Special Victims Unit. Dun 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 dun. dun. Also visited by Donald Trump. And moving on, a really pretty fountain. We picked up a bike rental and we biked across the Brooklyn Bridge. I'm extremely unhappy with how this footage turned out. This was my first time using my Insta360 in time-lapse mode. I did not like how it turned out, but this was a bucket list item to do to go over the Brooklyn Bridge, so I decided to include it. And I'm glad we rode bikes because it was extremely hot that day and we would have melted walking across this bridge. Oh, so sweaty. So very, very sweaty. Did the bike. Did, did the good. Bike. I finally figured out how to change the gear after <laughs> being on a five up a hill. St. Paul's Churchyard, which is like, I guess, a mini graveyard. Here are the 9-11 Memorial Fountains. I cannot explain the amount of sadness that is still on this ground. Like, the second you walk in, you can feel it. We were here on September 10th, so there was lots of memorial flowers placed into people's names. We were not able to go into the 9-11 Memorial Museum. It was close to only family the day before the anniversary. Still can feel sadness on this ground. Tomorrow is the anniversary of 23 years. for you. This show was amazing. I still cannot figure out how they did a lot of the special effects. After the show, we stopped at Carlo's Bakery in Times Square to get a little midnight snack. Everything here looked super good. I probably should have got a cannoli, which is what he is famous for, but I got a mini New York cheesecake, that one right there. Hey, break up. Is it 
ten dollars each good no but it's pretty good like a seven out of ten the next morning we started the day off at madame tussauds here's ryan seacrest miss taylor swift and then cats i always found that musical kind of disturbing like cats a little bit creepy I'm actually, the, I'm the same height as the queen. Hello. Then we had a dance party on this runway. Uh, there was some bumping copyrighted music. Go Donna, go Donna. Back on the big, big bus. Baby dill cream cheese. I was gonna get seven, but I got that late too. Oh, good. We rented bikes again. There's more time-lapse footage that I'm unhappy with, but this was a bucket list item of biking the entire Central Park circuit, all the way down to Harlem, all the way back up. We had to take many breaks. I was not expecting it to be so hilly. I thought it was gonna be way flatter, but we did it. I biked through all of Central Park and now I am dead. And Donna is also dead. We took an evening cruise on the Hudson River, and this was actually my favorite part of the trip. The golden hour on the city, and then watching the entire city light up was just... I don't have words. It was really pretty. Me and a little bit of my thumb. The Statue of Liberty off in the distance. The Brooklyn Bridge. Here's Donna, thinking I'm taking a picture. This Pepsi Cola sign has been here since 1940 and is now a historic part of New York. We took this cruise on 9-11, so we have the memorial lights on. We cruised up to the Statue of Liberty and the literal words that came out of my mouth was, Oh my! She is so big. From a distance, she seems tiny. She is not. Here I say how cold I am. Another day, another Liberty Bagel. Here we are at the Central Park Zoo. We saw some really cute penguins. I mean, look at this guy. He's just like, hey! The monkeys were very busy and could not be bothered with us tourists. Don't know what it is, but it's pretty! One very sleepy red panda. Mr. Snow Leopard, or it might be a missus, I can't remember. A Central Park Zoo squirrel enjoying a french fry. He later ran over a man's shoe and that man was very scared. This day we rented electric city bikes and I highly recommend them even though it's very scary riding on the streets of New York but this was the fastest way by far to get around. This restaurant, Serendipity, is part of the reason why I wanted to visit New York. No, we did not order the frozen hot chocolate. Look at all these cute lights. We ordered the Broadway Sunday. It was the best $30 Sunday I've had in a long time. Biking mm -hmm. in New York is very scary. Yeah, we, yeah. Didn't die. we didn't die. Spent the last four days here, but not too bad. What show are we seeing tonight? Back to the Future the Musical. This show was so funny and so entertaining and a great way to close out the trip. Grand Central Station. We managed to depart on the correct train back to JFK.
thank you for watching. I know this video was a little chaotic and all over the place, but that's just me in a nutshell. We had a really good trip. Uh, would I go back to New York? Like 50-50. It's pretty busy, and I'm not a really big fan of crowds, but definitely worth going to and seeing. Okay, bye.